Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you different tech tips and how to become a work from home freelancer. Over a month ago, I did a video on how ChatGPT free users can now use GPT-40. And OpenAI has been talking about how free users will be able to use custom GPTs. They actually announced that this was now available for everyone at the end of May. However, it hadn't been rolled out to all users. So this may seem like old news, it's actually not because now finally all free users are able to use custom GPTs. So if you're asking what are custom GPTs, essentially it's like choosing a specialized tool for a specific job. So let's say you need help with legal advice, you could use a custom GPT that's trained on specific legal knowledge, and this will give you more accurate and relevant answers than if you just used the general ChatGPT. So I have logged into my free ChatGPT account to demonstrate that you can now use custom GPTs. And what you're going to do is on the side here, click Explore GPTs. So here you can see that you can use any of these GPTs. Now in order to create a GPT yourself, you will have to get ChatGPT Plus. However, you can still use any of these GPTs for free with the free account. So you can search by GPTs by clicking here and typing in whatever it is you want to search for. You can also browse by category. So we have top picks, there's different writing GPTs, productivity, research and analysis, education, lifestyle programming. The first GPT I want to show you is the one I created, which is called Transcription Pro. I've linked you to this in the description below. So I have different prompts that you could use. And this is to help you if you are a transcriptionist or if you're trying to add subtitles to your videos. I have a prompt that asks the GPT to correct the grammar, punctuation, and spelling of a text in American English. You could also choose British English. And then basically you would just paste in your text and it would go ahead and correct any grammar, punctuation, and spelling errors. I also have a prompt that says edit spelling and punctuation errors in this transcript without changing grammar. And this is important for transcriptionists who need to deliver a transcript with no word changes. So they need a verbatim transcript. And this is the one I want to test with you, which is break this text into subtitles and captions naturally. So if you are adding subtitles to your YouTube video, for example, or any other video, it's important to have natural subtitles. So I'm going to paste the text and then click enter. So this is a pretty big text. And you can see that the Transcription Pro is breaking this up into short little captions. Now, depending on your needs, you may need to also specify the length of the captions. For example, maybe 40 or 45 characters per line with a maximum of two lines per subtitle. This will depend on what your needs are, but you can also specify that before using Transcription Pro. Another GPT that you can use, which is really cool, is called Briefly. So I'm just gonna search for Briefly and then just click Start Chat. And this GPT is a text copy shortener. So essentially, you'll just have to copy and paste your text and the GPT is going to condense it for you. So I'm just going to paste my text. I'm going to use the same one that I did for my previous example. And just like that, the GPT has completely condensed it, giving a nice little summary with bullet points and topics of all the things I discussed in my transcript. This is a really great GPT if you're creating a blog post or a social media post and you want to quickly summarize what your video is about, and it does a really great job. Another GPT you can use is one with Canva. So the rating is kind of low, but it is the number one in the productivity category. Just click Start Chat. And again, you can use this for free and you only need a free Canva account. If you're going to use it, I recommend you use this more so to help you find templates that you can later on customize in Canva. For example, I need a logo for a travel business with a blue color scheme. So Canva is going to give us some options. First of all, you need to allow Canva to talk to ChatGPT. So just click allow. So they've given us five different options. This last one doesn't have anything to do with traveling, but the other ones are pretty good. I tried this by actually specifying what I wanted on my logo and it didn't work. So I recommend you using Canva just to help you find templates that you can then edit. So from here, just click on the one you like, then click on edit in Canva, and it will open up the logo for you to customize within your Canva account. Canva is free to use and download images. There are some extra features 
if you have a Canva Pro account, but you can go ahead and edit the logo by just clicking on any of the elements. You can even go ahead and click on any of these elements and change the color if you want. So it's a little bit more unique. And then to download it, just click here on share, download, and then download. And the last custom GPT I want to show you is one that's actually created by the ChatGPT team called Data Analyst. So you can scroll down under the by ChatGPT section and click Data Analyst or search for this. And this allows you to drop in any files and it will help you analyze and visualize your data. So just click Start Chat. And now even with the free version of ChatGPT, you can upload images or files for ChatGPT to analyze. So just click on the attach icon and then upload from computer. And I'm going to upload this employee sample data spreadsheet that I found online to use as an example. First, I'm just going to paste it and press enter just to see what the GPT will say. So I asked it, what can you tell me about this data? So the GPT has given me a summary of what the spreadsheet contains and even some examples of the first few rows of the data, but let's get it to analyze it in more detail. So for example, analyze gender distribution in departments. So they've quickly analyzed the data to tell me how many females are working in which department and how many males. And my favorite feature is that you can actually visualize the data. So I said I'd like a pie chart of the data by nationality. And you can see here there's an interactive chart or a static chart. So you can see the data has been analyzed by nationality. You can even click here to change the color or add in your own color code if you have a specific color that you want for the data. I even asked it to create a pie chart of employees in the US organized by city and the custom GPT has gone ahead and done that as well. Just as an example, this is the sample Excel sheet that I downloaded for this demonstration. You can also click here on download chart if you'd like to download an image of the graph that you just created. So this is just a great way for you to quickly analyze data in any sort of spreadsheet or image that you can just quickly drop into ChatGPT. Now remember that there are limits to the free plan. However, you can try it out and you have a certain number of uses per day. So these are just a few of my favorite custom GPTs that you can now use for free in ChatGPT with the free user plan. If there are any other GPTs that you enjoy using, make sure to comment below so we can all try them out. Or if you have any other questions or you are looking for some custom GPT, let me know in the comment section as well. If you do have a paid plan, make sure to check out my tutorial on how to create your own custom GPT, which you can also connect to your website so that people can find your business online more easily. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you all in my next video.